Okay, hi everybody. This is uh, Grandma Jan on a budget. Today we're going to be making keto pizza. Alyssa and I have tried the coconut crust and the almond flour crust, and we don't like either one. The coconut is not, it's good when it's hot, but not reheated. And the almond is okay, and it's okay reheated, but we prefer the ground chicken crust. It's the best. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. So we're gonna take thought out ground chicken, one tube of it. I don't do a lot of measurements. Trash is over there. So I took some frozen spinach because when I was, I prefer the fresh spinach, but I forgot to grab it when I was in that section. And I remembered spinach when I was in the frozen section. So I got some frozen spinach and you are going to have to squeeze out the liquid with a paper towel. Just put it in a paper towel, defrost it, put it in a paper towel and squeeze it out. I got one of those small blocks. I don't do a lot of measurements. I just put it together. I've made this quite a few times. So we're just gonna put that in there. So we're gonna get rid of that. I need to wipe off my hands. I got spin the chance. Yeah, sticky. So I prefer to put lots of garlic in mine. So we're gonna put some garlic in it. Oh, probably a couple tablespoons. I like lots of garlic. We got some Italian seasoning. Just what you feel like. Yeah, that looks good. I got my meat on the other side. I'm cooking some hamburger. I got some onion, chopped onion, dried chopped onion. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little more garlic in it, some garlic powder, not a whole lot of garlic powder. A lot of people don't know that garlic powder has carbs. So then you put some mozzarella cheese in and you put about a cup in and that's almost a cup. We'll see how the hot feels. We'll get rid of that. All right, so then when you're gonna squish it all together, that's what it looks like. We're gonna squish it all together. Just incorporate everything in there. Get it nice and good. It doesn't take too long. The cheese doesn't want to combine, but we'll get it. So after you put everything you want, whatever toppings you want on this, this will be about four carbs per serving. And a serving size is two slices. And we're doing it on a rectangle. So the two slices will be like a quarter of the pizza. It's so good that people who don't do keto like to eat our pizza that we have left over and then it's gone. All right. So that is all together now. That looks good. That looks really good. We got a lot of spinach this time. I think more than we usually do. That's right though. Okay, so I'm gonna grab parchment paper. I was lucky and I found a package of parchment paper, a hundred of them for hardly anything. So I have like this whole box of parchment papers. So you want the parchment paper because this is gonna put on a lot of grease. So now we are going to pat this out. Okay, go ahead, boss. All right, so I have patted all of this out, and as you can see, it covers the whole stoneware board. So we're gonna bake this for 20 minutes at 425. All right, so the chicken crust is done, and we're gonna take it out and drain it. So you gotta be careful that you don't drop your chicken crust into the sink, like I almost did, because it will slide. So just be careful draining it. All right, and we're gonna slide it back on. We're gonna put it right here. Okay, I'm gonna put the husband's pizza into the oven. He does not do keto, because he's skinny and doesn't have to. 
and keto, he says keto makes him sick. I think it's just cleaning out his system and making him healthy. All right, so I'm gonna fix this a little bit. Mother sucker, that was hot. Don't touch your board, it's hot. Okay, so we're on a budget. I cannot afford the Rouse, it costs like $8. So, I get the Prego Farmer's Choice Classic Marinara. So there's only, there's about five servings in here, which is about half a cup, 90 calories, and carbs. Eight grams of carbs, three fibers, so you're gonna subtract that, so only five grams of carbs then. And we put that on the whole pizza. And we only use about half a cup, so. And spread it out. Oh, yeah. I think we used a little more than half a cup because usually it's not as saucy. Okay. So now we are doing like a meat pizza. Where's my salami at? So we're doing some salami and we're going to do some pepperoni and hamburger. And no, I don't buy grass fed hamburger because like I said, I'm on a budget. You don't have to have grass fed hamburger. Uh, it's preferred, but not all of us have tons of money. So. Let me grab my pepperoni. My son stole it for his pizza. So, we're going to put the mushrooms and the green peppers on too. Pizza is the best. Alyssa and I went to um, the restaurant Pizza Studio. They have. Um, a cauliflower crust pizza. So we were super excited about it. So we went there after the movies. We went to the movies and just had water during the movies and stuff, which sucks, but you get used to it. So we're like, oh, we're going to go to Pizza Studio because they got cauliflower pizza. We need to try it. So we ordered our pizzas. It's like a little 11 inch personal pizza. So we ordered our pizzas and got our toppings and stuff. And we ate about half of it. And I was like, I could, I looked up in my card manager and I couldn't find it in my card manager, the crust. So I went and asked the manager. So um, for one 11 inch, it's 64 carbs. 64 carbs because it has rice flour in it. So that was basically a cheat day. So Alyssa and I proceeded to eat the rest of the pizza. And we're like, what the hell? We're just going to eat the whole pizza then because whatever. It was good. We enjoyed it. It had like a crispy crust just like regular pizza and stuff. So, yeah, it was like heaven, but too many carbs. But luckily, um, yeah, I didn't gain any weight from eating it. That's all I ate that day too, so <laughs> I didn't eat anything else. But um, I only do like 15 carbs a day, so that was a lot for me. But um, I actually didn't gain any weight from it, so that was good. You can probably hear my son in the background whispering to my other son. They think they're funny, and they're sarcastic. They're, they think it's funny that I only have um, like a couple of subscribers. Well, guess what? I just started. I will be popular. And I will have more subscribers because everybody's on a budget nowadays. You have to be on a budget. Everything costs too much. So, all right, there's all of our trash. This is our trash too. We're going to just put it all inside here because I like to just be organized and clean as I go. I have OCD. Okay, I need a paper towel. All right. Oh, I almost forgot. My hamburger. I made a bunch of hamburger. I made like... Almost three pounds because whatever I don't put on pizzas, 
I'm going to make it into some taco meat and have taco salad. Because it's cheaper to buy the family size hamburgers than it is the smaller ones. Please make sure your dad knows we're doing a video. Uh, yeah, my <laughs> My husband's home from work. All right, so the rest of that we will just use. So I'm gonna put some chopped onions on it because I like that. Why are you on top of me? Okay, put this way. And some tiny seasoning. And just a little bit more garlic powder, even though we have a lot of garlic in it, anyways. I think there's like two carbs and a tablespoon of garlic powder. So I love cheese. So we're gonna put this cheese on. I like the sh finely shredded, it melts better. And yes, I know that there's more carbs. There are carbs in shredded cheese prepackaged already. But yeah, I just like the convenience of it. Then I don't have to sit here and shred cheese. So I'm willing to do that extra little bit of carbs with the cornstarch and stuff. Yep, I'm okay with that. And I'm gonna put a little of the Mexican mixed cheese because I like the different cheeses on mine. We're a cheesy family, we like cheese. So after you get this all put together, you're gonna bake it for like 10, 15 more minutes. The crust is already cooked, so you basically you're just Cooking the top and melting the cheese. So I'll be back with the finished project. Perfect. All right, so the pizza is out of the oven. I'm gonna show you the pizza. Look at that. Super good. So a quarter of this pizza is four carbs and about 450 calories. So enjoy. I hope that you try it. Leave me a comment, like my page, subscribe. That would be great if you subscribed. I need more subscribers, please. Okay, so until next time, this is Grandma Jen on a budget.